Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I have been to Sainsbury's for our shopping for a change and the main reason for that is it is my husband's birthday and he requested an Ulster fry which is like an Irish fry up where you have soda bread and potato cakes and the only place I can seem to find them is Sainsbury's. So yeah it's a slightly pricey one because I've got um, a nice birthday dinner and breakfast and a few sort of prezzy bits. Um, so I will show you them as I go along. But yeah, as always, I will put the price on the screen at the end for you and then share with you our meal plan. So I'll start here with the fruit and veg. So I've got our usual bananas. I've got two packs of the mini apples. Archie always takes an apple for break at school. So I've got the mini ones of those got a lemon for a recipe that I'm doing got some of the mini easy peelers although they feel quite hard I'm not sure how easy they're going to be to peel but yeah I've got those got some white seedless grapes and then the veg I've got some carrots a couple of bread onions and a cucumber and then under here I've got some of the baby potatoes and then I've got a few packs of the baking potatoes because it was cheaper to actually buy four packs, three packs of four rather than a big bag. So I got three packs of those. Got some tender stem broccoli and some baby button mushrooms, which is for a recipe that I'm doing. And then the other bits I got smooth orange juice, a full pint of blue milk. Got my husband some of the Greek honey yogurt. So I only got one pack because there's still two of the Greek strawberry left in there from last week. So I just got four. And then I've got some double cream and some creme fraiche, which are both for um, recipes. And then I've got 12 pork sausages. These are going to do us a fry up for breakfast at the weekend and also a recipe. So I'm going to cook probably seven I'll cook for breakfast and then the rest will be for a pasta dish that I'm doing and then I've got some bacon for the fry up as well I've got two of these fillet steaks they're disappointingly thin for fillet if you can see that I mean I'm sure they're going to be really tasty and tender but I do like the fillets to be, especially though I think they were about £10 for those two. So that's a bit annoying, but never mind. A extra lean small roasting joint for um, our roast on Sunday. And then some chicken thigh fillets, which is also for a recipe that I'm doing. And then I've got some of the British butter. The butter and the double cream, and you'll see some other bits in a minute, are for a sticky toffee pudding that I am making. Because my husband has requested a sticky toffee pudding instead of a birthday cake. So I'll probably record me making that and we'll do a separate baking video. So yeah, that's what the butter and the double cream are for. And then I've got some extra mature cheddar under there and a garlic baguette. And then onto the cupboardy bits, I've got flour, which again is for the sticky toffee pudding, dates and brown sugar, bicarb of soda and treacle. They're all for the sticky toffee pudding. And then I've got a few packs of these instant noodles. They're only like 20 or 30p. 20p I think they were. And they're really tasty. So I've got a few packs of those for a quick lunch. I've got some rigatoni pasta, which is also for the sausage pasta dish I'm doing. Got some cartons of apple juice for Archie's packed lunch and also some angel cake slices. He requested these and they're really handy because they come individually wrapped. They're so easy just to tear one off and put in the packed lunch rather than if you try and wrap it in foil or whatever, the icing all comes off and it ends up being a bit of a mess. So I've got some individual ones of those. I've got some of the half-coated chunky cookies for the biscuit tin. And then 
I got um, two tins of baked beans, two tins of chopped tomatoes, a tin, um, two tins of beans and sausages, and also a tin of chilli. My husband wanted jacket potato and chilli for lunch, so I got a tin of that. Got some whole grain mustard, which is for the chicken dish that I'm doing, which you'll see on the meal plan in a sec. I've got some tomato puree because you always need tomato puree for things, don't you? Um, the prawn crackers, I don't remember ordering. I'm not sure if I've clicked them in by mistake or whether or not they were put in by mistake. But I love prawn crackers, so I'm sure we will eat them at some point. Probably um, do like a Chinese-y sort of dish at some point and have those. And then we're slightly bakery overload because of the fry up so i got some rolls for archie's pack lunch and some hot cross buns because i'm greedy and i like hot cross buns um got some crumpets for breakfast got our usual 50 50 bread and also i got a seeded because i quite fancy some seeded bread with some marmalade i had marmalade the other day you might have seen in my vlog um i'll link that up here in case you fancy giving that a watch um yeah so i've got some seeded bread and then for the ulster fry i've got some soda bread and some potato cakes got henry some donuts because he doesn't like sticky toffee pudding so i thought when we're having that and singing happy birthday to my husband he can have a donut so i got him those and then I got some orange and a blackcurrant squash, a sunflower oil, oh, and then this is an Argentinian Malbec, so that looks really nice to go with our steak. And then I got a deep pan pepperoni pizza for the boys, so they can have that when we're having steak. Got some Yorkshire puddings and some peas for the freezer. And then I got the boys some fruit splits and I got us some vanilla ice cream to go with the sticky toffee pudding. And then um, two lots of free range eggs there for breakfasts and also for the sticky toffee pudding. And the only non-food item I got was this Pro Enamel toothpaste. It's a new one, Mineral Boost. And I do find that Pro Enamel is the only one that stops my teeth being sensitive. So I've got that one to try. And then the only other bits that I haven't shown you yet are some presenty bits for my husband. So the boys are making him a little um, kind of hamper type thing. I'm going to wrap a shoebox and put some bits and bobs in for him. So they chose him some fruit pastels and we got the red and black ones because... Let's be honest, they're the only decent flavours in fruit pastels. Nobody likes the green ones, surely. So we got those. Got some fruit gums because he really likes sort of these chewy gummy sweets. So we've got some fruit gums. Got a big box of the Ferrero Rocher collection. So you get the white ones, the normal ones and the dark ones in there. The white ones are my favourite, so... I will definitely be sharing those. Um, so we got those. And then also he's a coffee fan. So I got him some of this Lavazza Crema Gusto ground coffee. So yeah, we're going to make a little hamper and put the Ferrero Rocher and the sweeties and the coffee in. Um, we might put the cookies in as well because he does like a cookie. So yeah, we're just going to make him a little treaty hamper to give from the boys as well. So yeah, it was slightly more expensive. But like I say, I've got the wine, I've got the presenty bits, fillet steak, stuff for the sticky toffee pudding. So yeah, it's a bit of a treaty one. Um, but still works out cheaper than if we were to be going out for dinner or getting a takeaway or whatever. So yeah. I will put the price on the screen for you now and then I will share with you our meal plan. So tonight we're going to have fillet steak with dough and raw potatoes and I'm making that with the leeks and the creme fraiche in. So I'm going to do that for dinner and then we'll have sticky toffee pudding for dessert. Tomorrow we're going to have enchiladas. I've still got an enchilada kit and some chicken in the freezer that I haven't used. I've had that a couple of weeks, so we're going to use that, that up. Sunday is going to be roast beef. Monday I'm going to use the chicken thighs and do a honey mustard chicken tray bake. 
And then Tuesday, I'm going to use the rest of the sausages left over from the fry up and do a sausage ragu dish with the rigatoni pasta garlic bread. Wednesday, I've got some pies left in the freezer. So me and my husband will have pie and mash and the boys might have the Kiev or chicken dippers or something easy with that. They weren't keen on the pies last week. And then Thursday, I've still got some diced beef in the freezer, so I'll do beef stew with dumplings in the slow cooker. So yeah, that is a look at our meal plan. All of those meals will be on my Meals of the Week video, which I will post on Wednesday for you. So yeah, I'm trying some new recipes. I've not done the honey mustard chicken tray bake before, or the sausage ragu, so there are two new ones that I'm trying. So yeah, check out my Meals of the Week video to see me make those. Also, I just wanted to hop on quickly just to tell you about a mini series I'm going to start on my channel and that is a feed your family for £40. So I'm going to be shopping at Aldi, Lidl, Asda and Tesco's and seeing which meals we can get for our family of four for £40. So yeah, if you're interested in that, it will be starting from next week. So check out um, that video and also my Meals of the Week video um, will obviously reflect those meals as well. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. And if you haven't already, I would love it if you would hit the subscribe button and stick around and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.